Good morning. I wanted to shoot a quick video. <clears throat> My voice is still a little gravelly. It is 8.20 in the morning. I have done the school run. I have picked up groceries. Now I get to unload those. But I wanted to take a minute before I get in the house. Does anyone else do that? Like, as soon as you're in the house, you're in full-blown mom mode and everything else goes out the window. So I wanted to take a minute while I was still in my truck to talk about... Um, why I haven't planted my garden and my flowers yet. I am squarely in a zone six. Whether it's a 6A, 6B, I'm not exactly sure because I live in this kind of weird pocket where we tend to get colder, we get lake effect snow, um, that kind of thing. A lot of areas around me, their last frost date is Mother's Day this weekend. I've learned from experience that mine is more like Memorial Day. Um, last year, our overnight lows were still too cold at that point, and we didn't plant till the middle of June. But here's the interesting thing. <clears throat> My next door neighbor is an old school gardener. He plants Mother's Day no matter what. I mean, I think you wouldn't if there was snow on the ground, but that's about it. It's his garden goes in Mother's Day. We plant, you know, two or three weeks later than him. And my plants catch up and surpass his. And we get produce off typically faster than him and more than him. So for us, we have found that it benefits us to wait a little bit longer and plant a little bit later. Um, a lot of people don't realize that tomato plants and pepper plants um they need like 55 degree overnight lows i'm still in the 40s and i think my warmest overnight low is like 50 or 51 in the next two weeks so we're still much too cold but that also buys me time to do stuff um i still have seeds starting to do I'm running late this year, but because I plant so late, it's not a big deal. Um, now, you heard me talk about my frost dates. Most people just know about their planting zones. And like I said, I'm a six. Um, but you need to know your frost dates too. Because, like for example, <clears throat> Laura from Garden Answer is also in a zone six. But her frost date has already passed. So she's planting everything my frost date has not and so it's important for you to know what your frost dates are my growing season typically runs memorial day to about october 6th that's usually my average first frost last year we had stuff in the garden clear until november like we had a late freeze last year as far as the fall side of things and then we had a record-breaking winter um, so you have to learn your area. You have to learn what works for you. There have been a few years that I have planted Mother's Day. And like I said, I learned the hard way. So I don't rush anymore and try to hurry up and get my stuff in the ground Mother's Day. Um, I watch too many in our local Facebook groups, which is happening right now get super excited and can't wait to plant and then we have a late frost and it kills our stuff or stresses it to the point that it just limps along and doesn't do much um and so like i said i have learned from experience we've been in our house now um this is our 11th growing season <clears throat> and so i have planted at different times I have just learned that for our particular location our little pocket here Memorial Day is it so my annuals are still coming that content's still coming my garden planting is still coming I'm not as behind as it looks it's just my particular area of town so anyway, can't wait to share that information or, or that uh, content with you as we finally get to plant. Have a great day.